You ever wondered what's inside of one of these inhalers? This is one of those discus things. You rotate it open and then flip the switch and then breathe in through here, then close the thing back up and it resets. I was kind of curious myself. I've uh, actually watched a couple videos online and uh, I don't know, I mean, they kind of showed what was in there, but I'd rather take it apart myself and uh, see what's going on. I uh, peeled off the stickers already, as you can see. This is just some generic breathing medication. Looks like it's pretty easy to take apart. I think you just pop these halves off of here. Um, screwdriver. I think the uh, disassembly process should be pretty simple. Just jam a screwdriver in here. Try not to stab yourself. And jam, oh, hang on a second. Okay, um, I'm gonna take one of the stickers that I peeled off. And then after I open this up, I'm gonna stick it in here. There we go. And that holds this side open while I pry the other side off. And hopefully I don't stab myself. Okay, there we go. Got this pried up. Hey! Just appears to be a little clamshell thing. And then in here, looks like we've got assorted mechanisms. Some sort of ratchety looking thing there. And uh, there's the mouthpiece over here. There's a little tiny notch down in right here. And that engages with this thing, I believe. I don't know, whatever. Uh, there's some more tabs on here. Let's pull those off. Goodbye, mouthpiece. Are you ready to see the inside? Wait for it. Ta-da! So it's uh, little coils, basically. There's uh, sort of a mechanism that rolls everything around. And I do believe it starts... Ah, okay, you can see the tail of it here. Okay, so it starts over here on this roll. Well, here, let me... Uh, I think I can reset this. have all the pieces removed here. The way this works is there's a roll of these little um, these little capsules in here and each one of these is filled with a powder that is the medication you inhale and this is the cover that goes on top of it. So this mechanism basically peels these two halves away from each other and then it has a little chamber. Uh, here we go. It has a little chamber right here that lets you breathe through it. So let me put these back together. I'll sort of reset it and you can see how it works and uh, it will should make a little more sense. Okay, I've coiled the two halves back together. So what we have is the side with the little pouches with the medication in it and this is the foil cover. And those lay down inside this mechanism and basically you've got a coil here with the little pockets of your medication inside of it. And then we have this wheel here. And if you look real close, you can see these little pockets of medication engage with this wheel. And as you turn this lever, the next sprocket grabs the next little pouch and pulls it along the track. The cover is peeled back right here and it goes down and loops around this coil right here. And at the same time, the spent capsules with the medication, or what was the medication, goes around this take-up spool over here. Now I haven't quite figured out how or where the part is that you breathe through. I know the mouthpiece goes on right here. Um, but as far as how this works, I'm kind of curious. Oh, I see. Okay, so, um, this is going to be really hard to see. I'm going to set this down. I have figured out how the breathing mechanism works. The cover is peeled off right here, 
and goes down this way onto the take-up spool. And right here, you see this little block? There's a hole inside of that. And when you pull this lever back, ta-da! See the little tiny uh, honeycombed style hole there? That lines up perfectly with, the, w with one of the little dimples full of the medication here. And that's why they tell you you have to hold these things flat. Because if this was crooked or any other direction, there's a gap here. And if you held it like this, it could potentially spill out all of the medication and you waste your dose down inside this mechanism. So you have to hold it flat. Your mouthpiece goes on here and basically you breathe through that hole. And you know, obviously this other cover would be on here as well. Yeah, that's, uh, that's really kind of interesting how this thing works. see right here the number index. Uh, apparently when I took it apart it broke that. So, But normally you've got the number counter on there. And compared to traditional inhalers that have a liquid medication in them, this has a finite number of doses and now you know why. Each one's contained in a capsule. You're not relying... Cats are playing. You're not relying on sort of a guesstimated counter for a liquid that's inside the, uh, the aerosol inhaler. It's basically like pills in a package. When they're gone, they're gone. So you can't stretch out a few more... Cats are going nuts. So you can't stretch out a few more doses when you get down to the end. Uh, you gotta plan ahead. When this thing gets to zero, you're done. <laughs> but anyways, there you go. One of these things, in case you ever wondered what's in there. And uh... How's that for some bonus content?